By the way, guys, I'm running it with no scrubber plugs or anything like that. Just raw dogging it. Straight from Walmart. It's, oh. Was that a bite? Yeah, we got one, boys. It's pulling us. Pulling us on the kayak. Oh, pull and drag hard. See that? This is awesome. Check out that catfish. is going on guys and welcome back to another fishing adventure so today i got some live worms and some gulp scented imitation worms gonna be throwing these out and see which one works better i casted out the live worm and was getting hit almost instantly before it hit the bottom unfortunately what was biting my worm were really small striper i mean so small these guys <laughs> could be bait look at that little striper it's so cute another little one Man, these small guys are kind of annoying. Hey, at least we're catching them, I guess. <laughs> Another one. Feels tiny. Oh, man. Lake Havasu is known for the big fish, so uh, to come here and catch these little bitty three inch striper, it's uh, kind of embarrassing. <laughs> we can do better. I hope we can do better. Guys, I'm really thinking about starting to carry a kayak with me when I travel. Because the last three mornings I've been out here fishing on the docks and I could have been out there on a kayak very easily if I only had one for sure from now on a kayak is going on top of the truck anytime we travel because I mean this would have been amazing fishing on the kayak normally we're out here on boats but Michael's boats are down right now he's trying to get them up but he's a busy man with his family and whatnot so but like I said if I had a kayak, boom, drop it in right here, go over there, go over there, and we could go anywhere on the kayak. So there is a kayak place here. So I may just go uh, have to get one. I'm gonna look up that kayak place, see when it opens, and we'll definitely go check it out because kayak fishing is a whole lot better than dock fishing. I have a kayak at the house, but uh, it's at the house. So if I want one here, I have to go buy a new one. It probably won't be nothing too great if I do buy one here, but at least we'll have something, you know? We'll fish until the kayak store opens, and then we'll head over there, go check it out, see what they got. All right, so we went to the kayak shop, found the kayak that was $800, and now we're at Walmart, and it seems like the only option this Walmart has is the Lifetime Tamarack Angler 100. This is a 10 foot long kayak, it only weighs 51 pounds, which is pretty light. My kayak at the house weighs about 80 pounds. It gets pretty heavy, especially when water gets in it. 10 foot long and 31 inches wide. Should be somewhat stable. And the color is cool too, red and black. Looks pretty good. And it comes with a paddle as well. So the last boat was $800 and did not come with a paddle. So I'd probably be spending around 800, uh, maybe 59, to $100 for the paddle depending on which one I get 900 all the other bells and whistles maybe a thousand dollars right so a thousand dollars for the bigger kayak or I can go with this one and it is only $295 with the paddle the paddle probably sucks let's be honest but it's a paddle right I wanted to get a cheap kayak something lightweight something short for these trips and I think this is perfect so I think we're gonna get this one and now we'll have a kayak it's wide too it's 31 inches so it should be pretty stable and I came from kayak fishing and I have a small drum boat so I'm used to these unstable little tiny boats so uh, it should be all right so $295 good color perfect size lightweight I think this is what we're gonna go with guys I like this kayak too because it does have a few options like rod holders you got two rod holders in the back and then you also got the mount right here and i did not realize this but it comes with a mount so that is freaking sweet so you got three rod holders on this kayak also you are sitting on the kayak itself the seat is not higher up so your butt is probably going to get wet so we're going to have monkey butt which is what ben at the last kayak shop said is what they call it monkey butt when your butt gets wet so 
I guess the capacity is pretty important too. Max capacity on this kayak is 275 pounds. So we're good there. All right, let's go ahead and get this kayak. Let's go buy it. That's the one. I also need some straps because I do not have any straps in my truck. They got paddles here too, 29 bucks. Wonder if that's any good. It's pretty long. If it's only 30 bucks, we might do an upgrade on a paddle. Let's see how long the paddle it comes with is. Oh, actually, you know what? Since we're doing a Walmart kayak challenge, I don't need to change the paddle because the paddle can change everything. Paddles are very important. You're actually supposed to get the right size, the right length paddle. The paddle can change everything. So uh, since we're doing the Walmart challenge, I'm not going to get a different paddle. We'll use the one it comes with to keep the challenge true. But here we go, baby. This is gonna look sick on top of the truck, honestly. And that's another reason why I want a cheap one because it's gonna stay on the top of my truck. It's gonna stay wherever I'm staying, wherever the truck is, anywhere in the US, that is where the kayak is gonna be. And uh, if anyone just cuts it off the top of my roof, I won't be losing that much. I mean, $300 is still a lot of money, but uh, it's not $800 or $1,000, so that's good. All right, so we got the straps. Now we need a life jacket. A life jacket is required to be on all vessels. So let's go find a life jacket. All right, so here's the life jackets, but I've been wanting one of those CO2 life jackets for a while now. So uh, how much are these? 40 bucks, 30, 30 bucks. So you know what, instead of getting one of these, I'm gonna go find one of those CO2 life jackets because I've been wanting one of those for the John boat or just my new bass boat as well. So instead of going cheap on a life jacket, let's go get a cool one. All right, so we got the Walmart kayak and as you just saw, the guy was carrying it one-handed and I just carried it from way over there to here one-handed. So this is a super light kayak. It is exactly what I wanted to be on the top of my truck for when I'm traveling. So it would be super easy to take it off the truck and walk it down to the water wherever I need to. Also, hopefully it's light enough to just set it on top of the rails without having to slide it up. But the other kayak is so heavy you have to walk it over, put the nose there and slide it up and that scratches up the paint. I did that on the Xterra, so hopefully with this one I don't have to. But we got one that's still wrapped, so we're gonna unwrap it, get rid of all the trash, open up everything, get it all ready to go. And then we'll go put her on the water and test her out. Usually it's only if it has a towing motor. All right, that guy just stopped by and told me a fishing spot called Dual Williams. So I'll go check that out someday. But uh, here's the kayak, got it all opened up. Now we just need to get it on top of the truck. So I stopped at Big Five to see if they have life jackets and check this out. The same kayak, Lifetime Tamarack Angler Kayak 419. Oh, I guess I saved 100 bucks there. So we just made it to West Marine. This is actually where I got this bracelet the first time I was here. But uh, they have the hookup. They have everything that I want. Let's go with the black and yellow. All right, boys, good to go. All right, so we found the life jacket and it was actually on sale. It said it was a hundred bucks, but it was actually only 70 bucks. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we got the kayak, we got the life jacket, and now we have the place to drop it in. So here we are at this beach and the London Bridge is right over there. I mean, we have a way to go. So it's gonna be a long paddle, but I just wanna kayak through there, check out the scenery, honestly. If you catch some fish, that's a plus, but uh, let's do it. This is gonna be awesome. Let's unstrap the kayak and drop it in the water for the first time. Hopefully she's stable. <laughs> All right, so before I throw a bunch of fishing gear on the kayak, I wanna test it out first. Got the life jacket armed and ready to go. Anytime you're on the first kayak or anytime that you're worried about flipping a kayak, throw on your life jacket. Getting it all set up here. Let's uh, drop her in. Make sure she floats first, huh? That'd be funny if it didn't float. She floats. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and kick my sandals off now. Feels like my very first time on a kayak, but it's not. 
my very first time on a Walmart kayak. Ow. Oh yeah, dude. Uh, how stable are we? I mean, a little wobbly, but definitely. I mean, I'm can. I'm shaking this thing hard. We're not flipping it. So for three hundred dollars, not bad at all. Let's push it around. See if we can get up and go. Dude, <laughs> I love it. I freaking love it. My other kayak is so heavy. It, it just felt like you're paddling around. Felt like you're dragging a rock or something. Dragging an anchor. But this thing, this thing it feels awesome. Of course there's no gear on it. The real test will be whenever wakes hit me from a boat. Lake Havasu is known for big fish and big fast boats. I believe, that, I want to say this is a no wake zone, but again, I have no idea, so I don't know. But I feel confident already on this kayak, so let's turn around and go get some fishing poles. We'll grab the fishing poles, grab the worms, grab some chatter baits, maybe some swim baits, and we're going to head to the London Bridge. I love it too because it doesn't have pedal foot pedals that you can adjust but it has these four things here and it fits me perfectly so that's awesome oh i love it man i love it i love being on the water in a kayak boats are great and all i love boats but being on a kayak is just different there's something about it it's just so peaceful so relaxing oh baby also, getting it off the truck, I literally just grabbed it and carried it over my head to the water. It was so simple, so easy. By the way guys, I'm talking really highly of this kayak. This isn't a sponsored video or anything. This is, I bought this with my own money. It's Walmart, you know? I bought it. I can say whatever I want to say about it if I want to. It's just, it's good. I mean, look at this. So I tipped it enough for water to get in. And I still did not feel like I was gonna flip it or anything like that. My butt's wet now from uh, shaking it so hard. So, that was a good test. By the way guys, I'm running it with no scrubber plugs or anything like that. Just raw dogging it, straight from Walmart. I don't have any GoPro mounts for the kayak either, so the chest mount is all we're getting today. It does look like it might rain, but I checked Google and it says it's not going to, so we should be good. So I'm going to grab the spinning rod, which actually has a drop shot, but I can throw a piece of worm on the drop shot hook, no problem. So we'll grab that, the Hakai, which has the chatterbait already on, ready to go. And then let's go ahead and grab a tackle bag full of gear I want to use. We're going to go fish by the London Bridge Piers, where I we fished last time. We caught quite a bit of bass. Oh gosh, these worms have been in my bag all morning. Eh, still look good. Dude, they freaking stack these worms up with garlic, man. They are green. Let's go. Oh, can't forget the worms. Almost left the worms. That would have been bad. Two rods. We're ready to go. All right, so we're adding a little bit more weight to the kayak here. First off, let's throw in our fishing poles and the rod holders. Which luckily this Walmart kayak has. Boom. Set. And let's throw the bag back here. And there is storage right here, but I'm pretty sure this goes all the way back. And I don't want to lose anything in there, so... Not gonna use that just yet. I may find a bag or something to put in there so I don't lose everything I put in there. My buddy Eric got his new kayak. He put his anchor in there and it slid all the way back and then opened up on him and the anchor was stuck inside his kayak. Eric, you dumb ass. What a freaking idiot. Water's actually pretty cold too. 
For being in a desert, the water is cold. I guess I should have stood up, moved around, or did all that stuff before I really hopped on. But I didn't. I'll do it when I get back. Do a stand-up test. It's not made for standing up, but of course I'm going to try. I have to try, right? Maybe this can go in here and not move around so much. Should be alright. Alright, we're off, boys. Off again for round two. This time we're going fishing. When I get home, I actually want to paint the bottom of this with that slide paint so I can beach it and not have to worry about getting all scratched up or anything. I'm sure this plastic isn't too thick since it is only $300. So I just want to toughen it up and also just make it easier to beach. So that's the game plan. Here we go. We're off to the London Bridge. I thought it was going to be a while before we get there. Like I thought it'd be tough, but uh, in this kayak, the way it feels, I feel like we're moving, so I feel like it's not going to take very long, which is good. I want to watch out for other boats. Boats love to come through this London Bridge, so I also don't have an anchor or anything like that. Luckily, it's not too windy though, so uh, shouldn't be a problem. All right, so like I figured, this is a no wake zone, so we should be good. Shouldn't be any boats flying by us. All right, we made it to the London Bridge. Oh, baby. That wasn't bad at all. We're here. We're chilling with the big boys, the big boats. Out here on the kayak. Freaking amazing, man. I love it. I love this so much. This was definitely worth the $300, 100%. To be able to come out here and just relax and hang out on the kayak absolutely amazing ah oh, dude best decision i ever made in my life that thing is sick river scene yeah they must take it out on tours and stuff all right so i want to fish in between these two piers right here we're gonna try this pillar first and just fish all right here dude once again best decision i ever made in my life i wasted the last two mornings Barely fishing on the docks. And I could have been out on the kayak. I could have been out right here in this prime fishing area. I hope it's a prime area. I'm not really sure. Haven't been here in a while. But uh, last time we came here, we got bites left and right. I should have made a leash at Walmart for my paddle, but I didn't. Wasn't thinking far enough ahead. Does it float? Yes, she floats. That is good. But if she floats off, there's no way we can get it. We'll just keep it like that. All right, chatterbait going out for the first cast. Ah, oh, so amazing. What is life right now, man? This is everything. That wasn't that close to the pier, but we're still gonna try it. Fish or not, I'm already satisfied with the kayak. Just having the kayak right now is everything. Four 450s on that bad boy. Holy crap. That thing hauls butt, I bet. He says, smile, you're on camera. So are you. <laughs> Dude, that thing is amazing. Holy crap. Not as amazing as my $300 kayak, though. <laughs> Just, just kidding. This kayak isn't that good. And it's not necessarily the kayak that's really good. It's just being on the kayak. I've always loved being on the kayaks. The second I sat my butt down in the kayak, I was in love with it. It was amazing. But again, this one's pretty stable. It's not bad at all. I have not fished from a kayak in a very long time. Too long, apparently. All right, flashy swimmer with the white kitek on there. All right, so I'm about to throw out some live worm because the artificial isn't doing it. Oh, is my butt wet, by the way? It's actually not. My butt is not wet. 
if you look right there, that is where the water stops. So that's a plus, I guess. No monkey butt. We're gonna ditch the artificial. And we're gonna go with a live worm on the drop shot rig. Garlic worms, yummy. Let's just toss this out there. Right by the wall. I do have an extra fish finder at the house. Should we throw it on this kayak, guys? Let me know. What do y'all think? Okay, so that is hitting bottom right there. So, maybe five feet. Is there anywhere to put this? Oh, dude, there is a freaking paddle holder on this thing. This is very awkward. It's right here, though. I'm not drifting off too much, so that can just chill right there. Sweet. I wish that was on the outside, like over here. Maybe it wouldn't stay. I don't know. All right, now we can chill out, not worry about no paddle. Just have a good time. Come on, fish, take my worms. Take my bait. I'm using the ITX carbon spinning reel from Okuma on the Okuma Psycho Stick. Super clean combo. Now we just need some fish to buy on it. Then we'll be set. Freaking look at y'all can't see it on the GoPro, but there's a lady over there on the paddleboard just laying down, chilling, floating, relaxing. Living the best life over there, man. It's, oh! Was that a bite? I think we got one. Yeah, we got one, boys. I was over there talking about paddle borders, distracted. We got a bite. It's pulling us, pulling us on the kayak. Oh, pull and drag hard. See that? This is awesome. Oh, a big bluegill. Okay, I can honestly say this is my personal best. Oh, I stepped my line. Thank God that landed in the kayak. Guys, look at this freaking bluegill. Personal best. I mentioned it in the last video. The bluegill here are freaking insanely big. Let me see where the hook is. I don't want to hook myself. Okay, it's way down there. Guys, are you freaking kidding me? Look at this bluegill. This is my personal best bluegill. Oh, baby. I wish I had my scale, but I don't. I might have it in my bag. Oh, are you kidding me, dude? That is so sick. Lake Havasu bluegill. Absolutely insane. I want to get weight on this guy. Because I want to know how big it is. I'm sure you guys want to, too. One point fifty four pound bluegill insane all right bud thank you once again let's go ahead and set her free freaking tank dude there she goes oh that was amazing and once again the kayak is totally worth it 1.54 pound bluegill can you believe those guys get up to five pounds here like what how I boat flipped that guy and it snapped my line, so now I get to retie. It's already getting kind of dark too, that's not good. First fish here on the trip, besides those three little dinks I caught this morning. Freaking stoked, man. Ah, now we'll have a kayak anywhere we go. This is specifically for traveling. It's gonna stay on the truck at all times, probably. And I will just have a kayak. At all times, no matter where I go. Michael called and said he's taking his boat to the shop tomorrow, so. Maybe after tomorrow we'll have a boat to use out here. I think I'm gonna make a few more casts and then start heading back. I don't wanna get caught in the dark out here. This kayak right here is 30 pounds lighter than my kayak back at the house. Big difference. I can feel it, it just feels so good. Lightweight is the way to go. Even if it's cheap, make sure it's light. All right, it was a successful trip. Um, how do I feel with the kayak? It's awesome, stable, I love it. 
uh, my butt hurts though. My butt hurts pretty good. I didn't realize it until I was heading back. I was like, man, my butt hurts. So what I'll probably do is go get one of those square flotation devices that you throw out that you have to keep on the boat. And I'll throw that right here in the seat. That way my butt doesn't hurt so bad. My back feels fine. I mean, my back isn't hurting or anything, so that's good. So we successfully broke in this $300 Walmart kayak on the Lake Havasu. We didn't have any boats flying by us or any rough waves coming by, so uh, it wasn't too bad. It was great, actually. I had no problems stability-wise. It held great. I never felt like I was going to flip. I even cast it. I even uh, reached behind me. One thing I didn't do, though, is stand up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the gear off, get it all in the truck, and then we'll come back out here and try to stand up on it and see how stable it is standing. All right, the question everyone wants to know, can you stand up on it? This kayak is not made to be standed on, but uh, I'm gonna give it a try. All right, so the final verdict on the kayak is, I like it, I like it a lot. Can you stand up on it? No. Uh, I just did stand up on it, but I wouldn't do it for a very long time, and I definitely wouldn't try to cast. It was very wobbly, and I almost fell over twice. I stood up very fast and very confidently because my other kayak, I can. I can stand up, no problems. I tried doing that on this one and I almost fell. I had to sit back down real fast. But still a very awesome kayak for beginners. If it's your first kayak, you get it. It is an awesome kayak. I love it. It's gonna be staying on the top of my truck for sure. It's going to be my travel kayak. Also, it is super light and I can easily put it on and off of the top of my truck. So as you just saw, super easy to do. But guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace. Hi,